I have concerns about Barry, and my concern there is the height of the windmills. And I just want to hear, you know, what you're doing and how you're doing it. I think it's going to be a great opportunity for Barry. I think um, lowering the the property taxes would be just fantastic. Just hoping it'll lower our taxes and help out with the economy and stuff, I guess. My my honest belief is that those that have a have a belief that their bad should have a sign in their yard that also says I want to pay higher taxes. I'm Kat Mosley and I am the public engagement manager for uh, Heritage Wind, Lighthouse Wind. We have a few other projects in the um, Northeast. I was asked a question earlier today about why are we doing this. Number one, education. We want people to learn what it's like to live near a wind farm and we also want you to learn what it's like to um, enjoy the benefits that a wind farm can bring to your community. I've always wanted to walk up underneath a functioning, very powerful wind turbine and hear for myself what the, the sound situation is. The noise that I could hear directly under a turbine, which we probably couldn't have heard once we got back to the main road, is a nothing, really. The, the community uh, receives a pretty substantial benefit in tax revenue or reduced taxes. What concerns me about this project is landowner rights. And I feel we ought to be able to do what we want on our Fire. We're in, in Wyoming County where there's more cows than there are people and there was a lot of talk about animals and people getting sick and cows not breeding back and all these things, they just don't happen. So it's really cool to kind of look 10 years after the fact um, and kind of see how much growth they've had, how, how some of these worries that the people of Barrie have that did not happen to this town. There are a lot of cynical people who say, oh it can happen, it can happen, it's never going to happen. But um, it happened here. If it happened here, it can happen there. And we want it to. 